What's up guys, it's Shane here. This is gonna be a quick video on how to buy stocks on the Webull app. Um, basically just a tutorial for beginners. I'm not gonna take 20 minutes to get into it. I'm literally just gonna show you how to buy stocks on the Webull app. Now, if you appreciate a super quick to the point video like this and you want to help out the channel, go ahead and hit my link down in the description below and you can get up to three free stocks from Webull. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. Uh, you are seeing my account that I use for YouTube videos here on Webull. Now at the bottom left, what you wanna do is go to markets. So I'm gonna click that now. And then on the top right, you're going to want to click on the search feature. And that looks like a magnifying glass. So I'll click that. And then you want to either type in the ticker symbol for the stock that you want to invest in, or you can just type the company name in. So in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and invest in AMC. And you see it's the first one that pops up there. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Now at the top left, you see that AMC is going for about $18.81 per share at this particular time. So what you wanna do is tap on the bottom left where it says trade. Now, if that's not available, if you're looking at your phone right now and it's not available, the reason for that is because you haven't funded your account. So if you haven't funded your account, I'm gonna do timestamps down in the description below and you can just skip to the part where I show you how to do that. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is tap on the trade. Now, for the purposes of this video, you can do a limit order or a market order. These are the two most basic types and definitely the most common types of orders that you can do on the Webull app. The limit order gives you a little more flexibility. So let's say for whatever reason, you didn't want to do a price of $18.84. You want to do $18.70. What you would do is you would hit the minus or negative button that's right next to the $18.84. So I'll go ahead and do that. And if you wanted to buy for a $18.70 instead, you could go there. Or for you know whatever reason, maybe you wanna buy it for more than that, you could also go up. So doing a limit order does give you a little more flexibility, but a lot of the time, if you were to complete that order, it does take some time. Now, if you wanted to do a market order, you would go to the drop down menu next to limit, and you would select market. Market orders are pretty simple. They're super fast and they execute almost immediately. Now, in some cases you can get a slightly better price with a limit order, but most of the time, and definitely just for the purposes of this video, I am going to choose a market order just to keep things simple. Below market, you can see the amount in shares that you wanna buy. So toggle up, that's one. And do another one. We're going to go ahead and buy two shares. And then what you would do is on the very bottom, you are going to tap buy. Then you're going to make sure everything's good on the screen. Always just double check everything. And after you've done that, tap confirm. Now, if this is during trading hours, it's just going to immediately execute and you're good to go. And it tells you when trading hours are right on the app, depending on what time zone you live in. And if it's not during trading hours, it's going to tell you when those are. Now, if you're not sure whether the order executed or not, or you're just a little bit confused about this, what you can do is go to the bottom right on the home page here and tap on messages. And then once you tap on messages, you can look at your orders assistant. When you look at the orders assistant, it's going to tell you what orders you bought on certain days. Now, this is my test account that I use for YouTube videos. So uh, these are some orders that I've you know executed in the past in different videos. And you can see here that it says order filled notice on the bottom here when I bought you know some Vanguard and I bought 21 shares of Vanguard at $461. And then you can see right above that I sold one share of Vanguard um, at $461.49. Now, if you haven't funded your account, Account yet, let's go ahead and go through the very simple process and steps on how to do that. So what you want to do is click on the middle button, the little Weeble symbol. And then on the top right, you'll see detail. That's what you want to tap on next. And then scroll down just a bit to where it says deposit. You know, tap on that. And then at the bottom, you are going to go to make another deposit. And at the top, this is where you would set up your bank account information for an ACH transfer. That's the most common way that people do it. And in order to set that up, you're going to need your account number and your routing number. There are many different ways to find your account number and your routing number. If you have a check handy, that's probably the easiest way. If not, you can usually log on to your bank's online portal and they'll have that information somewhere on there. And if you can't find it in either of those two places, you can either call your bank up or just go to your bank and get those numbers. But once you've set that up, you're going to come back to the screen and you are going to tap right next to the dollar amount and I'm gonna go ahead and fund it with $100. When it comes to funding the account, if you're trying to get like probably the best value when it comes to the free stocks, you do want to put in at least $100. And so at this point, after I've typed in the amount that I wanna do, I'm gonna go transfer to Webull. 
And then you just wanna double check this information here. And after you have, go ahead and confirm. And then it'll come to this screen and this basically tells you that the deposit was initiated and it'll basically update you every single time something happens. Now, if you put something like $10,000 worth into Webull, depends on many different things, but in my experience, they will give you access to a certain amount of that money relatively quickly. And the rest of it, you'll have access to in three to four days generally. All right, guys, don't forget to tap my link down in the description below if you appreciated me explaining that to you very quickly. Check out this video right here. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Also, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and I will see you next time.